Howdy, welcome back. This is Ethel Red, the worst Civ player on YouTube. And we are at a turn of the tide. I believe this is the moment where we can stop just surviving and start moving towards an eventual victory condition. That being said, let's go ahead and Circus Maximus is currently being built here. Let's get a harbor to finish connecting up all of our cities when that's done. And that takes us at about 20 turns, so that's good for London. Work boat here to do the second tile, and then I think an observatory and a bank. How's that sound? And actually, let's just go through all of the cities. I'm not going to work any markets, so that's, well, you know what? Actually, I don't have a problem with working a market. If I get a great merchant, I don't know. But I know a great merchant will set back the other great people. What's the difference in gold? Uh, three gold per turn. I think that I'll skip on working the market. All right, so what other tiles have I got here? All right, I think I'm content with those tiles. Here in York... Build a harbor and then an amphitheater and after the amphitheater we're going to do a writer's guild and after writer's guild we're going to do an artist guild and after that we're going to do a musician's guild and we're going to turn this place and then a garden and we're going to turn this city into the cultural center of our empire. And can we work the workshop? We got 14 hammers right now. Ooh, stagnation. I don't know about that. I don't think we're going to work the workshop. Yeah. Well, hmm. No. Unless, no. We're just not going to do that. Okay, so next. Nottingham. It is working on a zoo. When it's done with that zoo, it's going to do an observatory for the science. And then, no, not a barracks. A bank. So kind of like uh, the other city. And we'll revisit then after that's done. We got two people on university. I think that's as much as we can do there. Hastings. This one we've already done. Is that all of them? Canterbury. We don't have anything to work here that's especially fabulous. And I think we're going to put a harbor before the library. And... Hmm... I think then maybe a workshop before the library. Actually an aqueduct and a workshop afterwards. Aqueduct will help growth. But you know what? I don't want growth actually right now. I may resume growth later. Yeah. So, and do I have everybody locked down that we're all avoiding growth? Yep. Okay, we are. Okay. So there's that. And this is right. We've got some barbarians to shoot. I forget where these guys were going, so we'll let them just do their business. Yeah. And, oh yes, the settler. I think that, can he settle here? Yeah, he can settle here. Okay, well, let's... Yeah, yep, yep, let's settle right there. And we're not going to build anything. We're going to give this city to Korea. What's the name? Coventry? It's Coventry. Enjoy. You must accept. I'm sure you must. Let's get our unit back. We'll bring him home. And down here. Where's my other... Ah, here it is. It is moving along. So that's that. Now... <clears throat> oh yeah, there was one more thing I wanted to check. Okay. Alright. So let's roll a turn. 1545. When's the next history? Immediately. 1547. Henry VIII dies of extreme obesity and he's succeeded by Edward VI. I think actually I mentioned that last time. Who needs... Okay, let's go ahead and...
plant you right there as an academy. Voila! And we'll just come up here and scope the north side of things. Alright. And you want to be friends with me? Little old me? Now do I want this? Um, I thought I did, but I've, I've already given you the city. I wanted to sell it. How much gold do you have? 79 gold? No, I don't want this. The only reason why I wanted this was to be able to sell a city for gold. Sorry, we'll go alone. Because in a little while, he's going to be pariah, and I don't think I want to be friends with a pariah. We'll just let that city infuriate Attila for a little while. Declaration of friendship has expired. And we'll just let this guy continue to explore. Okay. Now. Hmm. What am I going to do here? So what does a uh, lumber mill do again? It's plus one production. Yeah, it's plus one production. Let's set up a farm right there. And then a lumber mill right here. And maybe another. Yeah, we'll do that. And if we ever get past that, we'll get past that. All right. Onward we go, one tile at a time. And we'll just go explore to the far side of the Mediterranean now. Make sure there's no barbarians. Making our rounds. Vatican City, they want a trade route. Valletta wants a trade route. I will give them trade routes. Now you, we can work together with you. Great. And in fact, let's see if we can become friends with Siam. That would be all the better. Siam, how are you doing? My good friend, would you like to buy a horse? Hmm. Two horses for two gold. Thank you. I guess I'll move you to Nottingham. Where's a worker so I can repair this? Okay, right there. And this unit... You're going to clear that camp. See if we can get all this sorted out. I forget where everybody's going. So we'll send you here to Hastings. And then when you're done here, we'll send you to London. Actually, we'll send you to London. And we'll send this guy to York. Because he's the tougher unit to protect us against Rebay. In case Ribe were ever to get ribbity. Farm, please. And what do we got here? Barbs. Shoot the barbs. I think things are going to go well. 1555, what do we have now? Catholics outraged at the Church of England. Revolt in a series of battles called the Prayer Book Rebellion. And they die. In 1553, Edward VI dies of a fever. Next up is Mary I, Queen of England. I'm sorry I upset you. And she was Catholic. She reverted England back to Catholicism. And she burned a bunch of Protestants at the stake. That's how she got the name uh, Bloody Mary. What's next? In 1558, Mary I died of what was probably ovarian cancer. And that's when the famous Elizabeth I came to power. She immediately restored the Church of England and fought actually a bunch of battles with European powers who were intent on um, quashing the heretics, basically, I think is what it comes down to. So, I know she fought several battles with the Spanish, which we'll go through a few. 1560, actually. Um, just looking at... I, I want to get I want to get some trade routes going to these city states down here. And what else? What other quests do we have on the docket? 
Uh, let's see. You want... Where is that? Kuala Lumpur. You're far too far away for me to be able to... No, no, not going to be able to do that. Who are you? Valletta, I'll get you a trade route. Uh-huh. So, the question really is, who can I become allies with before the next World Congress? What's this? They want you to support their war effort by gifting units. Oh, it's not going to happen. Zurich, you're over here, aren't you? Let's, yeah, you'll, we'll, we'll finish this quest. And Vatican City, yep, okay. So we'll just work on these here in the immediate area and becoming friends with them because I don't think I'm going to be able to do any of these other quests right now. Next. 1560 nothing wow there's actually nothing to talk about until 1588 yeah yeah we're pals Ethiopia we're all a big circle of friends and speaking of being friends I'm such good friends with Korea I would like to give them some more of my cities like over here neck right next to Siam wherever Siam is ah there they are okay work some fish does this change my I could do a pagoda okay now let's think about religion here because um, how much religion do I have I've got plenty I could save for a great prophet and plant him I could get a missionary and send him up to Copenhagen and Aris I could get a pagoda. Where all could I use pagodas? Let's see. Not here. Not here. I could get one in Hastings. And remind me, what does a pagoda do? Oh yeah, culture, faith, and happiness. So I could get one in Hastings. And Hastings is the last city that needs a pagoda. Huh. Missionary or pagoda? So let's look at the pressure. There's a lot of pressure for Catholic, uh, for Catholicism around here. Ooh. Um, maybe not enough though. Rebe looks questionable. I think I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send another missionary. Yep, I'm going to send a missionary. So let's buy a missionary. And we'll send him to Copenhagen. Gee whiz, look at all these barbs. The world's full of them. Next time I play this map, A, it will not be in England. It will not even be anywhere in Europe. This, I mean, Spain is set up really... I mean, if you play Spain, you start off with a wonder. Losing grasp on Kuala Lumpur. Spain would be a good civ to play here. Caravel was bombarded by an enemy hand axe. Oh, my poor Caravel. Let's go clear that. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this. Wow. That's not the White Walkers. Wow, and it just keeps going. Where is this? Canada? Oh, Canada. You guys are barbaric. You're, up, you're pretty intense about your maple syrup or something. Man, it is crazy up there. Okay, and there's nothing down here in the Mediterranean. Let's come scoping out over here. Next. Korea doesn't know what's coming. They're going to get screwed. Uh, if you've already seen this trick before, then you know what the punchline is. But hopefully there's a couple of you out there like, why is he moving settlers all the way across the map to give them to Korea? My caravel's dying. I guess that it's probably going to die. I don't think there's much I can do about it. Now, this archer. Where's the archer? We'll just park him here. 
And that archer will be parked. Jeez, there are so many of them. And into the mountains we go. Jeez. So, you know, thinking about next playthroughs. Well, that's obvious. If we were to play Babylon on this map, oh man, that would be nice. Babylon would have a great start. I bet you China's got a good starting place too. So it was Valletta and we'll have to move him. We'll have to rebase him to Nottingham in order to be able to ship over to Vatican. Oh, you know I like you man, but I don't think I like you enough to give the uh, Mongols open borders with me. People entering the industrial era now. What's the uh, demographics look like? Am I still in third? No, I'm in sixth. That's very spiky. I mean, we must all be pretty close to one another, is what I'm thinking. One tile at a time. Okay. And you'll go to Vatican City or Valletta? What kind of cities are you? Valletta is militant. Vatican City is... Oh, but look, I'd be importing pressure from that. Well, I'm going to import pressure from, from them anyway. Just on the next cargo route. So, we cleared that camp. Nice. And we'll actually come up here and shoot that barb. And then check out Ireland. Yup. How's my spy doing? Oh, I did promise never to spy on on Korea again or something, didn't I? No, I've never been caught there. Who was it? I It was Denmark that I promised never to spy on again. Couldn't help you become friends with Ethiopia. You've done the same. Great. I'm glad to hear that. I should enter the industrial age so that I can get... Actually, you know what I should do? I should work on getting um, my ideology now. Great! Stealing! Let's steal chemistry because that will immediately help out with all of my minds. Nice. Hello, Siam. I um, feel like settling around here. Barbs, barbs, barbs. Alright, so you're going to go to Valletta. There's another quest completed. Okay, you got me. I won't spy on you anymore. Actually, should I say that and lie? And just continue to spy? Um... I think it would actually be because I'm not going to move my spy out of there. I'm going to keep spying on Korea. So I think it would be more upsetting to him if I were to... Oh, but you know what? Ah, gee, I plan on selling him another city. He won't say no to me selling a city if I've... Okay, we'll do that. Your indiscretion is not a surprise. Hey, at least I'm being honest. Did that farm get fixed? Yeah. Trade route established for Valletta. Wow, let's go bring that ship home and repair it. Hmm. And now you can go back to Hastings. I'm surprised I'm still doing so poorly in science. Well, but I haven't got my observatories online yet. I've got two observatories to build. Yeah, two. That's pretty good. Alright, where is the most aggravating place I can build this city? Right here is a bunch of floodplains, and I don't actually want it to be a nice city. Spread religion to Copenhagen. And then we'll come over here to Aris. Alright, so where is this going? Ribe, Viberg. Let's put some religious pressure on somebody. 
Who? Um. Fiborg. Rebay. Rebay. Can we send the rebay? Yep, we'll keep going to rebay then. Yeah, literally using trade routes as weapons of religion. Any minute now, we're going to get the Circus Maximus. What? <clears throat> I mean, what? What have you got? Barbarians out here or something I need to know about? You need some help patrolling that area? Gee, that's frustrating. I bet you want to give me open borders. With a horse. Thank you. Oh, you lost a settler. That's painful. Can't believe I lost a missionary. Did I get Copenhagen converted? Almost. Kind of. Jeez, that stinks. Lost a missionary? There must be barbarians over there. I wonder if I could... No, I don't want to do open borders for them. I was going to say, get open borders and come over here and check it out. But, hey, if they can't keep their own territory clean... Well, he is on bottom. I should probably try to butter him up a little bit since he's my neighbor. Actually, I think the best way to butter him up is to have a better military than him. We'll stay alert in York. Repair the Galeas. Is that Galeas? I guess it's Galeas. We've missed some history. Oh no. 1595. What happened in 1580? Something. 1588. Oh, English destroyed the Spanish Armada because they were at war with um, England over religion. Now, this probably strikes you as insane that I just turned it down two research agreements. But I got a reason. And that reason is I'm hoarding money to buy votes in the next World Congress because Siam's on the map and I plan on winning a diplomatic victory, which is going to take a lot of money to bootstrap. So, and I've got observatories, or I will have observatories. It will be okay, eventually. Eventually. So, what do I build now? What, do I, what, what improvements do I do? I'm thinking it's going to be this hill turned into a mine. Let's find some place right in the middle of his empire, which is extremely frustrating. I want to be friends with him, but he's enemies with Ethiopia and the Ottomans. I uh, wouldn't that I yeah then I would get a declaration of friendship yeah so that would be a negative that would be a diplomatic hit with two other sibs so I'll have to go it alone sorry Arabia. You're probably, Arabia, you're probably going to end up dying at some point. You're going to get killed off. So let's go look at the civs or the uh, city-states that are looking for investors. Okay, great. So that farm is done. And we can shift somebody onto that farm. And in the meantime, hmm, does that mean that with an unemployed citizen, we can put them to work in a workshop? Yeah. Great. Mm hmm. So if I go improve some farms up here, that'll free up a citizen to be able to work a trade spot. Yep. I sh should probably... Well, I was going to say I should probably build some more farms in the capital, but... That, anyway, wouldn't help because I'm right on the razor's edge with... With happiness, so I gotta stay in lock... Well, but I will get the Circus Maximus soon.
So, yeah, actually, when these two workers are done with their respective things, they'll come over here and build farms for London. And I will unlock London. In fact, I can unlock London now. They will immediately grow. We'll build a farm here. Are you done? I think he's done. So he'll come over and build something. Yeah. Can we settle around here? No, because we have to be four tiles away, right? But maybe down here? Yeah, maybe right there? We'll try for a city right there. Nothing going on in Ireland. Let's check this area here. It's where barbs like to hide out. 1610? I'm going to run out of history before long. And we got 18 turns before... 17 turns before the next World Congress. So, last I mentioned, England destroyed the Spanish Armada as part of the wars between Protestantism and Catholicism. And the very next year, Spain destroyed the English Armada. So it was tit for tat, tit for tat. Then, in 1603, Elizabeth I dies of extreme depression. Now, this is an interesting bit because she never would allow the subject of what does she do with aha we have found barbarians let's go kill them what was I saying oh yeah Elizabeth I never really allowed a marriage to happen and she had no children so there's no line of secession and her advisors knew this ahead of time they knew that they were going to be in a secession crisis if they didn't do something about do something ahead of time and she was getting more and more depressed all the time anyway at the end she was really just melancholy so they reached out and made an unusual agreement with james the fourth of scotland who was a family member of elizabeth the first and part of the line from william the conqueror and so he's part of the royal line so they made an agreement that upon her death, he would become King of England and King of Scotland, combining the two thrones. So you would see a unification on Scotland's terms, but it would be the King of England, right? So, yeah, that's how that goes. Let's come down here and scope this area out. I don't want any of my cargo ships to get sacked. And there were barbs down here last I saw. Oh, did this just get wiped out by a Danish scout? More power to you, Danish scout. Nice. Nicely done. Well, let's scout down here. Public declaration from Siam. Yeah. Well, be that as it may. I really could use this harbor getting connected now. That would... Winnenberg requests a road. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can branch off from right here. So that'll be the next thing for that worker to do. Yeah, I think down here in these forests would be a great place to set up a miserable city. And next. 1625. So in 1605, Guy Fox. The anonymous guy with the anonymous mask, you know, white mask, black mustache. He tried to blow up Parliament with gunpowder. It was at the time called the Gunpowder Plot. And, well, that didn't happen. But, I mean, it almost happened. So, they made a movie about it. That's actually as much history as I have prepared. So, I'm going to go off script now for a little while. And just, I'm really eager, actually, about these cities that I'm setting up that I'm giving to good Mr. Korea. How's your city up here doing, Coventry? Yeah, with all that desert, enjoy it. So can I plant here? No, I can't. Ah. Jeez, you guys got cities everywhere. This long bowman will park it. Hmm. I wonder if Valletta will be happy that I'm killing this barbarian. I think so. I think that's this fire thing here. 
that they want me to kill barbarian units invading their territory. Oh, and we're out of time, but we are going to give these two cities to Korea. What else happens? Um, so going completely off script here and not looking at anything that I have researched. Mm, 1639, a bishop's war with Scotland began that would last almost a year. That was probably over faith. I'm pretty sure that Scotland was Catholic. Okay. Can I settle here? No. Jeez, you guys got city after city after city. Let's come down here and try settling down here. Mm. I really wish I could just settle right in the middle of everything. Believe it or not, I mean, I'm taking a hell of a pounding from that crossbow. You know what? I'm going to come over here and help deal with this. That crossbowman's going down and my unit is not going to die. No, Ethiopia. We're getting too close to ideologies. I should probably... Oh, but I'm working on scientific theory. Right after scientific theory, I tell you, I am going to get... <laughs> I'm going to get... factories and start working on an ideology. I would like to go... Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I had planned on this being a domination win, so I was going to go with autocracy. But definitely not sure anymore about what I would do. That's big right there. That right there should transform a lot in this game because now I will have money. So let's get a workshop and a bank and an opera house. Do I want an opera house? Maybe not. York needs a York needs a market. What other wonders am I interested in? Oh yeah, and Hastings and Canterbury need universities. Alright, so York, you need a market. So let's insert a market right here. Hastings needs a university. So let's build that right now. And what was the other one? Canterbury? You need a university too. Let's just work on that right now. This caravel, probably never going to make it back to port, but we'll keep trying. Keep exploring. Yeah, he's going to die now. That, that archer will kill it. And look, my pikeman is back. I don't even know what to do with this pikeman. I think I'm just going to park him right here and have him... Actually, I might set him on that gym. I'll park him permanently on the gyms. And that made Valletta happy. Fantastic. Sixteen forty-five. A lot of people entering the industrial era, and I'm oh, I'm already no, I'm not. So what? I'm probably like fourth place. Gee, really? I could do better than that. Now look at that gold. Fifty-five gold per turn. Really, really, really nice. Okay. Can we establish here? Yes, we can. Boom! And... Just like that, we'll send our unit home. We'll park him on that, on that mine. And hey, Korea, would you like a free city? I bet you would. Yeah. Alright, now let's talk about war. So, what would you like in order to go to war with that son of a gun who has a city right next to you? No? No, no? Yeah, no? 
let's let's do it together then. Let's shall we declare war on Korea? Yes. War with Korea in ten turns. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll let Siam simmer for a few minutes and then we'll ask the same thing of Siam road to Zurich yeah I have successfully connected finally jeez right <laughs> borders of Nottingham have grown that's a miserable sea tile this guy got promoted. Fantastic. And barbarians. Holy smokes, there's barbarians at the gates. I can't believe that caravel's still alive. Siam. Right after this turn, I'm going to go talk to Siam and see if they want to declare war on Korea. This is where it gets fun. Uh, things are going to finally go my way. This episode's going to end on a high note. Siam, so how about we declare war against Korea? No? Maybe I can bribe you into it. That's fine. You'll get upset here sooner or later because there is a Korean city right next to you. <laughs> Yeah. What did I say I was going to do with this worker? That I was going to bring him up to London? I'm a little worried now that there's barbs up here. I could bring him up here and... Hmm. Be safer for me to leave him down here. I don't know if I need more farms. I think that this worker is starting to reach the point of diminishing returns. Um, he can go join the effort to build a road to Wittenberg. That's what he'll do. Ideally, this musket man would invade Valletta and would be able to get another bonus for killing another barb. I'm I guess I gotta let Siam sit for a little while now and stew. I can't ask him every single turn if they wanted to close. Oh, good. They did. Thank you. That will be great. They moved into Valletta's territory. So it's almost time for the World Congress. I'm going to get started on this road. What can I do in order to make sure the World Congress works out the way I want it to? First off, we're going to go find everybody who... Mm. Um. Alliance, nobody. I need 12. So really, right here, that's that's a gimme. Right? So that that's my... Oh, but no, I'm not going to be able to finish that road in time. I could save gold, though. I'd like five influence if I could gift a unit, but it seems like every time I try to gift a unit, it ends up failing, and I don't get any influence for having done it. Who else have we got? So that, that was Zurich, right? Yeah, 12. So I can go into the next World Congress with Zurich. Yeah. And who else? Who's this? Valletta? 25 influence to become an ally. But... Hmm. I need... I just need a few more turns to get gold. To be able to secure a couple of extra allies going into into this election. Really, it would be great if I could steal one from Siam, because I'm sure Siam is the one with the most. Let's look. 
My caravel was destroyed. Okay, that's fine. So who's got the most... If we come here and we look at the World Congress... I'm at two. So adding just one would be a big improvement. Uh-huh. So adding just one would be a big improvement. Hmm. Uh, I think that's going to be Zurich. But I think I'm going to do it when the moment is ripe. So, oh, that's nice. I got a cannon for doing nothing. That actually will come down here and sit on Canterbury. So I need to end this because we've gone way over time. And thank you very much for listening. Please like, dislike, and subscribe so as to reward, punish me, and get more of me. Thank you much.